Howdy guys and gals, welcome to The Social Regressive. Today we're gonna put to bed one of the biggest questions that people have had. Do stormtroopers miss their targets because of the weapon or because of them? Is it man or is it machine? Now personally, I think there is a big third factor and that's the mask that they're wearing. I mean, listen to what Luke said. I can't see a thing in this helmet. And who can argue with that? In our own video, we went out with Czech OM-10 gas masks and we tried to hit these steel targets here at distances starting from just seven yards and back and all the way up to 100 yards to see if we could make nine millimeter pistol shots at, uh, at these distances with those pistols while wearing those horrible masks. And it, it actually did work, but I gotta tell you, it was awful. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at the one last factor here. We're gonna take a look at the machine itself. This is the CMMG upper kit that you can get for any AR lower. So what we have is all CMMG right up top here. This is their 5.7 by 28 millimeter radial delayed blowback upper. And this one is their level 200. So it has a muzzle brake up front. It has their own Cerakote job. This thing is just beautiful and I can't wait to put an Imperial logo on the side of this thing. The lower is all mine. So check out the video where I put all this together. You're gonna wanna see some of the parts that I chose on here and why I did, because I have some kind of strange functions in mind for this gun. Now this is a little PDW. This actually is a pistol. This is not a rifle. And so we're gonna see what we can do at a kind of practical distance, 50 yards. We're gonna test three kinds of ammo. First off, we have Federal American Eagle 40 grain. These are just your typical FMJ bullets. We have FN's uh, SS198LF. This is lead free. This is some kind of copper mix. And I think these are hollow points. We'll see how these do. Make sure that you check out upcoming videos because we're going to be punching ballistics gel as well. That's a 27 grain bullet. And then heading back into the 40 grain range, we have the Hornady. This is also from FN, but it uses a Hornady blue tip, ballistic tip bullet. This is SS197SR. And these have been kind of thought to be, you know, sort of a defensive load. They're supposed to expand when they hit Hit gel and we're gonna do some interesting tests with all these I've got gel actually down there for the next video and I have Kevlar so we're gonna see what makes it through Kevlar at what distances and we're gonna see how they open up and how they perform at some kind of practical distances and then probably backing up a little bit but for now let's just see how accurate these are at 50 yards one last thing I should mention up top this is the Bushnell AR optics four and a half to 18 scope this little guy is actually not very expensive at all, but I have been very impressed with it. I've used this shooting 223 on ballistics gel at practical and kind of impractical distances. And uh, yeah, it, everything just works really nicely on here. All kinds of uprated parts and the glass is actually quite good. You can get a very good image through here. We'll do a full review on this scope later but it's Milleradian turrets. It has a BDC reticle inside there and the second focal plane, side focus. Love this little scope. And we're gonna use this to get on target at 18X right here at 50. Up first, Federal American Eagle. Well, this is the kind of accuracy I expect from CMMG, dang. And here's where this stormtrooper forgot how to count. I had already shot five rounds on that left side target, and so I started putting all the wrong bullets in all the wrong spots. We're gonna go back and we're gonna clear this up here in a second. Okay, this does have a last round hold open, as you can see. Uh, they really made the magazines just right. Uh, a lot of the parts in here are going to be very similar to your standard AR-15 parts. But remember, this has no gas tube. This is radial delayed blowback. And it seems like they've tuned it up really well for that. I've had no hiccups in sight in or during this little testing here. Everything seems to be not just functioning, but I can kind of feel it through the rifle. There's plenty of power. Uh, it doesn't feel like anything is short stroking. Great setup, and it is driving all the way back on that bolt, so it is uh, catching the little follower on the back uh, to lock back the bolt. Love it. Let's go see what we got. Let's clean up our mess. Here on the left side, what looks like a one and a half inch group is actually a three quarter inch group. Those are five shots right down there. That top one that looks like a flyer is actually from the 198 LF group. It should be over there on the right. And you can see that if we do move it over to the right, then it's gonna fit in really nicely. 
Those three top shots that you see, those three holes, those belong to 198LF. Those are those uh, hollow points that move out really, really fast. The one at the bottom in the bullseye, that actually doesn't belong to this group at all, and it's one of the Hornady blue tips. That's one of the 197 SRs. What we need to do is move it to its proper spot, which is going to be down in the lower left here. And you can see that it would fit in very nicely. So we're looking at one inch right here overall for this group, and you can actually throw out that flyer on the right. That was one that I shot a few minutes later, thinking that I hadn't shot the five rounds. Overall, we're ending up with accuracy of about one and a half to two MO Away, which is exceptional for an AR pistol. One thing I'm going to point out right away is this. Heading away at about a 45 degree angle from the rifle, we tend to get very precise ejection. So this little cluster of brass that you can see right down here, okay, there's, there's one, there's two, three, four back there. Oh, there's a couple more back there. These all eject very, very consistently. Um, now this may change for some of the ammo, like maybe the 27s aren't quite the same, but these 40s I think are putting everything in the same spot. Uh, so we have one right here, and this is pretty different from what I'm used to seeing, so I'll bet that's one of those 27s. The only other difference between where these eject is that uh, the last shot comes out a little bit funky, I think because it's not striking any other rounds on the way out, and that one tends to go straight out the side to the left, and I'm probably going to find that brass right down here. Also, you got to check this out. Now, each one of these cases has a dent in its mouth. You can see there's just one kind of slightly flattened side there. But aside from that, just look how clean it is. Federal has been using very good propellants lately. Uh, in 22s all the way up through, you know, the, the big stuff. Uh, everything has been very clean. Uh, I've had very little difficulty cleaning all of my rifles. And even this brass is not going to take much to get it cleaned up. Uh, I am going to be using this to hand load, so if you want to see uh, some silly 5.7 reloads, and maybe actually some pretty effective ones, then make sure you subscribe to this channel. Uh, hit that like button down there, share this with your friends, and make sure you especially hit that notification bell so you can see when new videos come out. So why do stormtroopers miss? Is it man? Is it machine? I still lean toward helmet. Those helmets are just awful. Thanks a bunch for watching everybody. Make sure that you like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell down below so you can see when new videos come out. These videos are suppressed of course by YouTube and it's your best chance to be able to see them. Thanks a lot to everybody that has made this project and these videos possible. Uh, thank you to CMMG for sending this upper to me to test out. And thank you to Bushnell for the, the scope up top that I've been testing out here in Weaver. Uh, I got a bunch of great stuff on here. These Blackhawk sites are also really awesome. Don't, uh, don't miss the review that's coming out on these. But thank you mostly to patrons of the destructive arts that keep these videos going. They're the ones that provide the audio gear and a lot of the consumer like the ammo that we just shot here today. Uh, the guys out on Patreon uh, at di all kinds of different levels are really doing a great job. Thank you guys. We have Stan and Mary and the Sportsman's Guide at the 338 Lapua Magnum level. We have Joseph Davis, Peter, and Mr. No Name at the 300 Win Mag level. And just a gob of other dudes that are chipping in a buck or two a month to help keep this thing going. Thanks a lot you guys and I'll see you around. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to like, share, and most importantly, subscribe. Even if you didn't like this particular content, go ahead and subscribe. There's probably something coming that's more up your alley. Check out this playlist right here. This is going to have videos in a similar vein to what you just watched. These two videos we cherry picked for you. And finally, The Social Regressive is on Patreon. So you can become a patron of the destructive arts and earn some goodies while helping us to provide high quality videos just by kicking us a few bucks a month. Thanks a bunch for your patronage.